Today in automotive history, April the 22nd, brought to you by 365 Days of Motoring and the People of History. In 1833, Hancock Steam Omnibus, the Enterprise, began a regular service between London Wall and Paddington, England. It was the first regular steam carriage service and was the first mechanically propelled vehicle specifically designed for Omnibus to be operated. The engine worked on a crank and iron chains applied the power to the back wheels. In 1921, the Packard 6, later called the Model I-48, was introduced. And in 1921, Leland F. Godspeed, chief engineer of the Romer Motor Car Company, set an unofficial stock car speed record of 105.08 miles per hour at Daytona Beach, Florida, driving a Romer D-475 with a four-cylinder Rochester Duesenberg engine. In 1928, Ray Keach set a one-mile land speed record of 207.552 miles per hour, driving the 81-liter triple-engine internal combustion White Triplic at Daytona Beach, Florida. His record was broken by Henry Seagrave on March 11, 1929. In 1933, Sir Frederick Henry Royce, joint founder of Rolls-Royce LTD, died in England. The first Rolls-Royce car, the Rolls-Royce 10 horsepower, was unveiled at the Paris Salon in December 1904. In 1952, for the first time in history, viewers witnessed live the detonation of atomic bomb at the U.S. testing site in Yucca Flat, Nevada, on television. The atomic bomb tested was larger than those dropped on Hiroshima and Nagasaki in World War II. In 1956, Carroll Shelby drove a Ferrari to victory in a 100-mile race held on the 2.1-mile Pebble Beach Public Road Circuit. The race was marred by an accident fatal to Ernie McAfee. In 1962, in the Virginia 500, won by his son, Richard, Lee Petty made his first start since being badly injured in a 1961 Daytona qualifier, finishing fifth with relief help. In 1964, the third major World's Fair to be held in New York City opens. It was the largest World's Fair ever held in the United States, occupying nearly a square mile of land. More than 50 million people attended the fair, and it is where the Ford Motor Company's Wonder Rotunda opened with the Mustang. At the 66 Turin International Motor Show in 1996, the series version of the Mercedes-Benz SLK was publicly presented for the first time. The designation SLK derives from the company's design mission to create a roadster that was at once sporty, light, and short. And finally, notable birthdays on April the 22nd is Jack Nicholson. And that is it for today in automotive history. Thanks for listening to the Collector Car Podcast. Don't forget to give us a nice rating on iTunes and be sure to follow us on Instagram and everywhere else at the Collector Car Podcast.